I'm Lauren from tastypc.tv. Today I'm going to be doing my first video on the new Cooler Master Iceberg CPU coolers. So I've got the Prestige 120L and the Prestige 240L versions. Prestige means that they've been made from copper. Um, now Cooler Master are going to be doing lower end versions, one called Pure which uses alloy and one called Bronze which uses brass. So obviously 120 and 240 are the size of the radiators. Cooler Master are eventually going to be releasing a 360mm version and also L is the thickness of the radiator so one day we could see different radiator thickness sizes as well um, but these are just the two that are going to be released on launch day um, and in this video I'm just going to do kind of an unboxing of them so let's get started if I start by taking you for a look around the box of the 120L Prestige you can see that it uses a pure copper radiator and that the water block uses micro channel and jet stream technology it also says that it's been designed in Germany, and this is something that Cooler Master have really been shouting about, and I think for good reason. But I'm going to talk to you more about the design engineering later in the video. Here you can see a list of the specs. Um, I am going to be talking to you about these when we look at the cooler itself, but this is a good time to pause if you want to get a chance to really study them. Now I have already spoken to you about some of the highlighted features, but another one is that it's been factory filled and sealed. So here is the dimensions, um, one thing to note is that the water block slash pump is very big, which you'll see when I get it out of the box. Um, and then lastly, it's been sealed by an Alpha Cool sticker. So now I'm going to show you what comes inside the box. In the box you get a user manual, which includes a fitting guide, you get the fitting kit, you get a small tube of thermal paste, and this is because the cooler doesn't come with the thermal paste already pre-applied. You also get two fans rated at 1600 RPM, 60 CFM and 20.5 decibels. You also get two anti-vibration gaskets. And then lastly we've got the cooler itself. So if we start with the radiator, this is a 120mm radiator. It's 30mm thick um, and I am pretty sure it's an Alpha Cool Nexus ST30 full copper rat, just without any branding. Um, but I know those are very popular radiators and very well respected amongst the water cooling community. So the best design feature of this radiator is it has this kind of like metal shield which um, helps protect your radiator in case you screw into it too far. Um, also it hasn't been completely sprayed black and that's because when some of the copper shows it does help with heat dissipation. But I don't know if the camera's picking it up at all. Um, so if we then move on to the tubing and the fittings, um, it's using compression fittings and standard water cooling tubing um, with an outside diameter of 11mm and an inside diameter of 8mm. It's also using anti-kink coils um, and these make it stronger, more flexible but also give it this kind of industrial look. Um, now most water cooling products do use G quarter inch threads so the upgrades you can do with this cooler are pretty much endless um, and I am going to be doing a video where I show you upgrading the Eastbound coolers but where I also show you some of the up possible upgrades you could do. So if we then move on to the pump slash block, um, if this lives up to all of the hype that it's created it really will help to change the industry. So the um, block itself is made full copper. Um, and I can see a lot of people using this in rigs where they don't have a lot of space, seeing as it is a pump, block and reservoir in one. Um, it also has a window on the side which shows you the fill level. Now I really love this because you could fill it with UV coolant and then it would glow. So then looking at the internal pump, um, I couldn't help but notice on the diagram that the pump itself looked like it's based off of an Alpha Cool DCLT ceramic pump, the same as the one that I used in Project Run. Now, being completely honest, I'm not a massive fan of this pump, um, but I did notice that the specs differ slightly, so I hope that Cooler Master have significantly improved the design if it is based off of that pump. Um, but it does have a flow rate of 400 litres per hour. Looking at the top of the pump, all of the fittings are removable for upgrades. Here we've got the fill port. Now this cooler does come pre-filled. This is just here if you do decide to do some upgrades um, or if you notice after a while that the coolant needs topping up. As it's also using a G quarter inch thread, you can fit an external fill port to your case and then use a tube to connect the two. So then lastly, looking at the pump's power cable, um, it is a free pin cable. You can plug it straight into your motherboard or a fan controller or you can plug it directly into your power supply using an adapter. Now this cooler does also come with a low noise adapter, 
um, which reduces the pump's RPM from roughly 3,500 to roughly 2,000 RPM um, when plugged straight into a 12 volt fan controller. Now the pump will run at 7 to 13.5 volts with obvious performance and noise changes as the power is increased. So now I'm going to move on to the 240mm version. Taking a look at the box of the 240L Prestige version, it's exactly the same as the 120L Prestige version, except it contains a 240mm radiator instead. If I show you the back of the box, you can see the dimensions. Taking a really quick look at the Prestige 240L, it's exactly the same as the 120L, except it uses a 240mm radiator instead. Now I have skipped everything that came in the box as it was exactly the same as what came with the 120L. So now I'm going to move on to the conclusion. So that was my first look at the new Eastbow Prestige 120 and 240L liquid coolers. Now this is one of the most innovative products to be released on the CPU cooler and water cooling market because it bridges the gap between closed liquid cooling solutions such as a Corsair H100 and fully customisable water cooling loops and I really love the upgradability of the Eastbow coolers. But I also really love that Cool Master are proud of their partnership with Alphacool. Um, Alphacool make parts for custom loops and hopefully it will help the Eastbow coolers be seen as real water cooling rather than in the same way that normal closed liquid coolers are. Um, but if the Eastbow coolers do do as well as Cool Master say they do and if they have the reliability and ease of closed liquid cooling solutions while having the flexibility of fully water customisable water cooling loops then this has the ability to be one of the most successful products on the market. Um, I am going to be doing a full review of the 120L very soon and I am going to be doing a full review of the 240L when I manage to get a retail version and I'm of course going to be comparing it to a H100. Um, I'm also going to be doing the upgrade video that I mentioned earlier so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to see these videos as they're uploaded. Um, but if you like the video hit the like button and thanks for watching.